unlike people where you go to the doctor and they'll say, hold still, it's only going to take a minute. Uh, our patients won't voluntarily hold still. So many of the procedures that in humans might be done with no sedation or just um, having the person voluntarily hold still, for our animals, they need general anesthesia. I'm Dr. Leslie Smith. I'm a board-certified veterinary anesthesiologist at UW Veterinary Care, clinical professor of anesthesiology and section head of anesthesia. Anesthesia comes with many risks because the anesthetic drugs that we use depress the cardiovascular system or the heart. They depress breathing, make the animal unconscious, so the normal reflexes go away. However, uh, most of the risks can be avoided with careful monitoring and uh, careful planning of the anesthesia. So for every animal that we anesthetize, we think about what their underlying medical problem is, we think about what their temperament is like, we do a thorough physical exam and blood work, and then we can tailor um, the drugs that we choose and the doses specifically for that patient to minimize the amount of risk that there is. We have equipment that's state-of-the-art comparable to a human hospital, and I'd say for most veterinary clinics that's rare. We can monitor many different parameters of patients that are under anesthesia, much like you would have monitored if you went under anesthesia yourself. For pain management after surgery, we generally have a plan in mind. Uh, so when the animal recovers from anesthesia, we're ready with the drugs that we might want to give for pain. But we always start with a pain assessment. And then we dose our pain medications according to what we think in terms of the amount of pain that the animal might be in. We also do offer a chronic pain management service that uh, treats both large animals, horses particularly, and dogs and cats, um, that is relatively new to the clinic here. We do offer 24-7 emergency care for any patient, regardless of the species. I tend to work, as does the rest of my section, a little bit behind the scenes, but we're always available to talk to clients if they have concerns or previous experiences that they'd like to discuss with us before um, their pet comes through our service for anesthesia. Having a board-certified anesthesiologist involved with your pet's care essentially takes the level of um, their management to that of a human a hospital. We're much more equipped to troubleshoot if the animal starts to develop problems under anesthesia. So in, in general, it would be a safer undertaking for your pet if a boarded anesthesiologist is managing their care. Many veterinary teaching hospitals have at least one boarded anesthesiologist. Few have four in the country, and um, we're actually one of the unique ones to have four boarded people here. Let's get healthy!